everybody welcome to my monday facebook and youtube actually live i'm now streaming simultaneously on facebook and youtube so hello to my lovely community hello to my lovely subscribers um, on youtube and uh, for those of you who are like well wait a minute i don't follow her on youtube you can always go to my youtube channel gorgeously green is the name of that and um you know you can also follow me on facebook hello 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 so leave me comments sometimes um, I get to see your name. Hi, Serene. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Janet. And sometimes I don't. I think it depends on your settings um, in this particular piece of software that I'm using. Hi, Maureen. Hi, Ines. So the topic tonight is it's full, right? Hey, hi, Cheryl. It's full. How, what, excuse me, what are you looking forward to this full so get busy in the comments right now i'm just seeing if i can see this on my uh phone so that i can get uh some more comments as well so what are you looking forward to um so that's really where i want to um focus because i think right now with so much um, negativity and the chaos and stress going on around us right we really want to focus on what we love, what we're looking forward to. The fall is beginning to, I mean, even here in Los Angeles, we're beginning to get, hi, Shauna, Stephanie, with your purple heart, hi. Hi, Juliana, hi, Pamela, hi, Kate. So even um, here in Los Angeles, we're getting some fall leaves. Yes, we do have seasons here. People in England are absolutely amazed. Everything pumpkin pie, exactly. Uh, it's sweater weather yes i'm wearing long sleeves and it's still hot here but i'm kind of you know wanting to you know it's changing everything up isn't it so really that's what i want to focus on tonight and apple cider oh my gosh yes who likes pumpkin spice by the way and isn't it wonderful the pumpkin spice is so healthy because spices are anti-inflammatory. So let's just jump in. Really, I want you to focus on you tonight. I want you to focus on what you're excited about, what you're looking forward to. Are you able to travel? If so, are you taking any little trips right now? You know, how is how is everything treated? Kathy, how is everything treating you? Um, how is everything treating you, everybody? You know, in, in, in the sense of, can you get out and about? You know, and I think, Really, now, with when we turn on the news, right, uh, whatever news channel we're listening to, and often when we turn on our social media, there's so much doom and gloom, and there's so much um, sort of negativity and, and, and sort of anger, and, and, and it's, it can be extremely toxic. So one of the things that I um, always recommend that everybody does is just really watch how you consume, watch what you consume and watch how you consume. Uh, hi, Regina. Hi, Denise. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, oh my God, I'm laughing your comments. So first off, just watch how and what you consume because really it is a matter of protecting yourself, isn't it? So as we head into this next season and we're hearing, oh my gosh, we're going into flu season and possibly a second surge of COVID-19 and everything. So rather than focusing on the problem and the doom and gloom, you know, I invite you to focus on what you can do. What are the proactive steps you can take? You know, and one of the most important things that we can do is bolster our immune system, obviously. And so the first thing to chip away at your immune system and weaken it is stress. And so it is ironic, isn't it, that if we're listening to all the kind of news out there and the doom and the gloom and the anger and the kind of scariness out there, then that is going to chip away at our immune system. Hi, Phyllis. Hi, Lily. Uh, so I love that you're all talking amongst yourselves. Hi, Pam. Hi, Maureen in Queens. Uh, yeah, the temperatures, I can see for some of you, the temperatures are beginning to change in in in, um, in various areas of the uh, country, in various states. Um, Leah, hello, hello. Oh my gosh, Shauna, I'm loving. I'm going to go back and look at some of your comments and read them out. Um, so 
So that would be the first thing is, you know, just maybe, maybe just turn down the volume of what's going on around you, whether that is, unless it's something that makes you feel really good and lifts your spirit and inspires you. So, you know, whether that's family conversations, friends conversations, whether it's certain areas of Facebook, whether it's certain areas of social media, just notice in yourself, how does that make me feel? How does it make me feel? Does it lift my energy? Do I feel good? Do I feel, you know, um, sort of buoyed up by this, energized by it? And it's not that we have to be Pollyanna walking around going, la, la, la. You know, I, I, I don't have to be aware of what's going on around me. We can be extremely aware of what's going on around us. But in a very short space of time, you know, we can consume our news sources and whatever in in under 10 minutes. And, and then we really look at, well, you know, if there's something that you're, really bothers you or you want to do something about, you know, what can you do about it? And if you can do something about it, then do something about it. And if not, then it's like, okay, you know, let's really change our focus on how you can be, you know, a light in the world and and energize those around you and be of service in, in that way. Because I think there's a lot more of that needed and particularly in this climate in this day and globally actually never mind just in this country but in certainly in in america but it's actually in every single country you know we're running low on positivity and strength and love and inspiration you know we're having to dig it's the scraping the bottom of the barrel so let's us as a community and it really is a kind of call out to my community um let's try and really kind of gather ourselves together and look at where we can be that inspiration where we can be that little spark of of, of uh, positivity and light and of course as you know because you're in my community you know, what this always begins with is being a healthier you. What it always begins with is taking care of yourself first and putting your oxygen mask on first and doing the daily things that you can do every single day to keep your immune system strong and to keep yourself as well and healthy as possible. And that has to come first. Okay, lifestyle changes have to come first. You know, we look at the uh, frightening figures that have just come out on uh, COVID, you know, how many cases and deaths we've had in the US, but that is third, third in the order when it comes to uh, deaths from heart disease and from cancer. And so putting that in perspective, you know, as a community, my intention here is to help you and inspire you to make the necessary lifestyle changes, not just for yourself, but to inspire others to do the same so that you can stack the cards in your favor against those number one killers. But we're not talking about that. We are going to stay focused on full. What do we love about full? So for me, I love painting. I mean, we've got, I've gone from, you know, death to painting nails, but you know, we want to have some fun here. We want to have a little bit of light relief here, right, ladies? Um, so painting my nails a dark color. And actually, this is a polish that actually it's kind of strange because it's a, a spa ritual polish, which by the way, ladies, if you like polishing your nails and you don't go out to a nail salon anymore, which I don't, so I've become very interested in the easiest to apply nail polish <laughs> that necessitates one coat, because if I'm doing it myself, I can't be bothering with like three coats and up, you know, base coats and top coats. Then one that you might want to look at is by Spa Ritual. It's called the Vegan Nourishing Nail Color. And literally it is or maybe two coats, but you don't need the base and the bottom and everything else like that. But anyway, this is a new color of theirs. And it's interesting because it's a kind of beautiful sort of greenish color in the bottle, but it does come off a little more kind of black um, on the nail. But still, I'm liking polishing my nails. All right, I'm going to look at some of your inspiration now. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so look at this. This is how this community inspires others. So whether you're watching on Facebook or whether you're watching on YouTube and you enjoy my YouTube videos or my Facebook videos, what really makes my community on any of my platforms is you, ladies. And many of you have been following me for years and your positivity and your inspiration never 
never goes unnoticed. You participate, you're in it, you're just absolutely amazing. So I never do my nails, maybe try doing your nails. All right, okay, so I'm gonna read some of your comments now. Okay, so Yvette, find something for myself during these stressful times, playing guitar. Now I believe your son is a guitar player, right Yvette? So that's amazing, you're taking up guitar too, love it. Okay, we've got another, I'm sorry if I'm not um, reading out your name because sometimes the name isn't always showing. I think you have to go in to this uh, software and put in your name. Maybe some of my lovely regular girls can put in the chat how, how you do that. Um, so, uh, hey, Donna, hello from Connecticut. I don't have a name. We photo girl, uh, actually on YouTube, which is amazing. Thank you for watching. Gloria, letting go of the social media noise. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, Gloria. I'm working on my health, nourishing my body and my mind. That is so beautiful, Gloria, and I'm doing the same. Hi, Mandy in Florida. I'm so glad that you're with us. Um, okay. Uh, Maureen, Pam, I'm going to get to you, Maureen, in a second. I want to get my camera out and drive through a wonderful Letchworth State Park. Oh, beautiful. And please post some of your pictures that you take, your four pictures. Okay, we have Michelle from Charlotte, North Carolina. Shauna, trying to make a full bucket list of things we can do. Oh, what a great idea. Let's all do that. We can do that for our, you know, particularly it's lovely for our families if you're stuck inside, particularly with kids. Um, so uh, full foliage drive love it homemade allergen friendly pumpkin treats love it pumpkin picking and carving with grandparents campfires oh shauna thank you for sharing all that okay uh, diane is looking forward to flying to florida to visit my mom who recovered from covid19 awesome oh my gosh i'm so glad she recovered oh my gosh you must have so much gratitude in your heart phyllis clearing clutter always a great mom for the fall right writing storytelling beautiful eating healthy loving myself Maureen, Hubby and I are getting away to Newport Coast for a four-day getaway next week. How lovely. I did a getaway this weekend. Uh, it's the first time that my husband and I have done any kind of a trip since uh, the beginning of the pandemic. So that would be really the very beginning of March. And it was just amazing. And we went to the beach and it was beautiful. I just lay I lay on the sand and just heard the waves crashing, the rhythm of the waves, and I did so many meditations, and it was just very, very special. Pamela, butternut squash. Oh, my gosh, those squashes, right? Acorn squash, butternut squash. Who loves squash? Who loves a good stuffed squash recipe? Kathy went to Georgia last weekend. Great. I'm glad you managed to get out and about. Regina said fall is her favorite time of year. Um... Okay, uh, Laura is looking forward to apples wearing hand knits. Oh, Laura, you've outed me. She's totally outed me. Laura said, did you? Did I finish my hand knit? No, no, you've caught me on the spot. You've caught me on the go. No, I did not finish it. It is sitting there in my bookcase. I can just see it right there and exactly where it is because it calls at me. It's like every time I walk past it, but I am going to finish it. I actually am unbelievably ashamed to admit that I started knitting this beautiful shawl for my cousin in New York City who got COVID right at the beginning of the of the whole thing. I think in March she got COVID-19. And she is a very, very healthy young woman. She's in her early 40s. She's like an athlete. She rose every single day, could not be healthier, could not be. And she got it and she got it so bad. And she really almost, I mean, she was extremely worried for her life. So anyway, she's fully recovered right now. But um, Annalisa, if you happen to be watching this, maybe <laughs> I'll get it done for Christmas. My husband would be the first one to be going, oh, good luck, Annalisa, with that. Because I, I started uh, knitting him a sweater uh, many years ago and it was the joke it's the black sweater and it was this beautiful pattern but it never got finished all right so i've called myself out now publicly so i i am not normally a not a finisher girl i normally finish things but knitting maybe i have to explore that block that resistance there with the knitting but hey it's full so we can knit Whew. Oh, okay, pumpkin spice, everything. Good books. Is anybody reading, reading any amazing books right now? Uh, okay, I don't know who this is, but doing very well. I tried raw ginger for the first time today. I didn't realize it was so bitter, but I believe it gave me some serious energy. Yeah, and you can pop it in a smoothie and then the, the it goes away, the kind of raw, weird taste. Um, 
Okay. Oh, Gloria. That's right. It says ginger and chamomile. Ginger and chamomile in tea form is so grounding. It's a bedtime favorite for me. It's so warm in ginger. Who else likes ginger? Okay. Oh, that's great. Missy said that she followed my shampoo. This is Missy on YouTube for thinning hair. It works well. What's the shelf life on that? If it's the shampoo as opposed to the scalp uh, thingy, um, the scalp, uh, what am I saying, treatment, the shampoo is probably, I'd keep it in the fridge. I'd keep it for about up to a month in the fridge. Oh, by the way, really important, everyone who's watching, please um, make sure that you are um, subscribed to my email list. I have a special healthy and happy free five uh, email little sort of sequence journey. And if you haven't already, please, please, um, I think I can just pop it in here right now, my website. Just go to my, there you go. I just put it in the comments right now. So just go to my website. There you go. I put it in there, sophieuliano.com. And if you're not already, just make sure you get this little email series. And um, there, because also we have a lot of emails coming out and a lot of people, say, or uh, co beautiful content coming out for you. And a lot of um, people say to me, gosh, Sophie, I missed this or I didn't get that or whatever. But if you are following me on that list, and ladies, you can tell if you're already subscribed to my list, we don't blast you every day with emails. We're very intentional about the emails that we send out, um, but then you just won't miss anything. So please make sure you go to that link and make sure that you are subscribed to my list because I give you all kinds of little pointers and something will come up or I'm doing something new or there's a new video, YouTube video or whatever it is. So do make sure there are recipes and whatnot. Um, Okay, let me just look at some of these comments, um, some of these other comments. Uh, oh, now the hair thickening, it's actually not a product, Colleen. So if you look at my YouTube channel, you go to YouTube and you put in, put in, there's actually so many that I've done on hair, but you could put in the search bar, bar um, thinning hair, so for Juliano, but actually I'm going to make a note of this for for us, for, for Team Gorgeously Green, that will send an email out to everybody all about hair, okay? So don't worry about searching for that right now. I got you covered. We'll put out a little email with a number of the different hair videos for you because I've done a number of different ones. I've done DIY shampoo, I've done scalp treatments, I've done hair dye, I've done, uh, you know, keeping your hair thick if you're over 50, when, you know, often we get thinning hair, etc. So just if you're, if you are, subscribed to you know that go to sophieuliano.com then you will get that um you know you'll get those videos we'll do a special email for you all about hair um okay i'm missing all these amazing comments i love ginger and smoothies by the way if you've just joined the live stream we're we're just doing a quick live stream a little pump of, of of inspiration and getting ourselves all excited for the fall it is the fall and so what do you love most about the fall and what are you looking forward to during this fall season? Put it in the comments, inspire, because all your comments are inspiring everybody else and giving everybody else ideas. What do you most love about the fall and what are you looking forward to most? So pop that in there, that's what we're focusing on because in the face of all the negativity, you turn on the news, turn on one of your social media feeds, turn on you, whatever it is, you can't turn, anything on you can barely have a conversation right without some kind of something coming in there that sort of depletes your energy and makes you feel not so good and and not so positive and as i said before though we're not pollyanna if you can be out there in the world doing something meaningful and making a difference then we do that but beyond that then we just let go and we really focus single-mindedly on you know what we can do and what is wonderful and what is exciting and what's incredible about living in this country right now and having the freedom or the state that you're living in or the country that you're living in whatever it is it is is it the full leaves is it the countryside is it the certain you know uh food apples maybe there are beautiful apple orchards where you you are there aren't where i am in los angeles so you're lucky if you've got those I'm just taking a sip of chai tea tea is something that well i drink tea as you know all the year round every machination of tea but i particularly love my full favorites oh my gosh ladies the hot cinnamon Sunrise, I think it's called. Please correct me if I'm wrong from Harney and Sons. That's a beautiful fall tea if you like cinnamon and something a little spicy. 
Mm. I actually wish I'd made that tonight. I forgot that I had that in my pantry. Teresa! Teresa's on. All right, I'm just looking at some of your comments right here. Nancy Love Chai. Apple picking, Nancy. Who goes apple picking? Uh, check. Oh, Maureen says, and I've heard this before, check out the Netflix show, The Home edit fun inspiration to organize your beautiful homes maureen thank you for that the home edit i am so going to do that on i am absolutely going to do that because i'm always looking that's a great idea if anybody wants to put anything else in the chat or the comments if you're on youtube about shows that are really uplifting and inspiring it could be a documentary it could be a series we want to just find things that instead of you know putting on the news we can look at this marie purges the drawers uh, drawers closets hot cinnamon sunset tea that's it hot cinnamon sunset tea love it beautiful uh, pumpkin spice tea. Um, cur oh, Sheila, curling up with my dog in a blanket and some golden milk. Oh my gosh, yes, yes. Uh, looking forward to nice hot drinks, foliage. I now it's fine to sound like a, I'm going full hallmark on on fall this season. Event I 100% am. Um, okay, nothing wrong with that. Donna doing a hit workout and trying to listen to your live stream. Donna, I love you for doing that. What about exercise, ladies? Come on, fall isn't a time where we're just going to go into hibernation. We want to keep the energy up. We want to keep ourselves in shape. So you know, plan. Plan walks, plan hikes, plan trips where you are out there crunching through those beautiful full leaves. If that's your, I mean, you might be watching from a different country and not having. Okay, nail polish brand Gloria is spa ritual. And I can't even tell you how much I love it. It's a, literally a one and done. It dries really quickly. It's vegan and it's nourishing and it doesn't mess up your nails. My nails have been so much better since I've been doing them myself, to be honest with you. I mean, they don't look as pretty, but they're so much better because um, I haven't been, you know, messing with them so much. Um, and they're really, really healthy. And a lot of the time I go polish less. I just have naked nails. Like this is the first time I've polished my nails in a while. This weekend, it was just so nice to be out on the beach and doing all that just with no nail polish. It felt so good good um okay 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 great walking weather i have to keep moving or i get depressed yes i'm not sure who wrote that but that is so true isn't it it's such a good thing just to keep your body moving all the time if you are prone to depression and some people have seasonal um adjust uh, um uh, affective disorder you know where the change of the light and the lack of sunlight really affects your mood and in which case you know there's certain things you can do you know obviously you probably want to try to go to bed with the like you know get up earlier go to bed um go to bed earlier you can get the lights that really can help you know that the uh with this uh disorder um that you can have in your in your room and in your office so special lights um and exercise exercise will always always help significantly there is really nothing unless you are you know really injured but there's nothing that some kind of exercise won't make better just keep moving when in doubt keep moving um so uh let's see uh okay luann loves full colors decorations wearing warm cozy clothes love to watch all the colors of leaves oh she makes gingerbread shauna says she needs to get moving dio Dio, Dionia, what a beautiful name, and I hope I've said that right. Uh, crisp fall mornings, falling leaves, pumpkins, love the hot cinnamon tea I received on my last birthday. I'm hooked. I know I received mine as a present, and I got hooked ever, ever since. Okay, so anything else, ladies? Long, um, this is sunny days, a uh, blue skies. What a beautiful name, YouTube handle, by the way. Long drives through the countryside. Oh, farm stands oh my gosh yes you've now got me thinking i'm gonna have to take some little trips up north and do the farm stands with the, all the apples and the you know beautiful because there are and pomegranates here in in uh, Cal in uh, california uh J jeline um loves running in the park and seeing all the beautiful fall colors i mean really those colors are insane aren't they um Okay, uh, turning my air off, exactly. Another person said, good sleeping weather. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, uh, let's just see. All right, hay rides and pumpkin patches. Uh, 
Yes, infrared light therapy. Yeah, that can help. Actually, but I'm actually talking about something different here. There is infrared light. There's red light therapy. I've actually got a YouTube video on a red light therapy device, which is really, really good, called the Juve or the Juvie. And it's just, you can get one that's like this big or a whole body one. And that can really help with improving collagen in the skin. And it can also help with aches and pains or bruising or whatever. So that's one thing. And that's called red light light therapy but actually what I'm talking about for seasonal um, uh, what is it called seasonal affective disorder um, is you know people who really do get really significantly depressed when there's no not so much light it's actually a light that is specifically for that and it's not red light therapy or infrared those are two different things um, maple syrup uh, okay, Christy goes, love the full colors, everything pumpkin. Oh, by the way, talking about everything pumpkin, I can see if I can find this link for you. So there's a protein uh, powder brand that I really, really love. And I've just noticed, and I've told my clients this, my private clients this, because I recommend um, recommend this for uh, my private clients, um, uh, this particular protein powder brand, but they do one that is made from um, pumpkin seed and is very, very finely milled and it's extremely high in protein. So you could make a sort of pumpkin themed smoothie. It doesn't taste a pumpkin though, but you could put this protein powder in again, plant-based, very clean, very, very high in protein. And then you could pop in some fresh ginger, some pumpkin, um, spice or whatever it is that you want in there, some cinnamon. So I'm going to pop that in the in the link. Let's see if this works right now. There you go. Uh, I think it has um, gone in there. It's going. There's a link in there um, for the pumpkin. Um, sprout a sprouted powder uh it's really good and the, this particular brand there i've just put it in there that link just tell me if you see it i'm actually just going to put it in again with what it is pumpkin protein powder um and uh, this particular uh brand does uh i'll just put it in one more time they do uh, lots of other uh, protein powders now i am I was going to say an officiato of protein powders, but I've tried so many different protein powders because um, I'm very fussy about them. And some of them taste really chalky and really disgusting. In fact, I had one, and I'm not going to, I don't want to throw this brand under the bus, but I did have quite a well-known brand send me a huge a thing this big of of uh, of a particular protein powder and it is uh, to me it is unpalatable it makes my smoothie taste so disgusting so not sure, quite sure what to do with it but um but this brand uh, that i've just put the link in right now uh, they have this pumpkin but they also have um lots of different kind they do pea protein they do all the different plant-based proteins but it's sprouted and they do one i think it's chai vanilla, it's, it's sweetened with lacuma powder. But anyway, any one that you pick is a very good one and you can pick whether you want more protein and there are some that are completely sugar-free. So do do check that out because um, it is a good one. But when I was uh, looking um, at it today, uh, oh yes, it's gone in there. When I was looking at it, uh, thank you, Christy, for that. When I was uh, looking at it today, because I was, um, you know, um, putting it, it, you know, in for my clients, my private clients, um, I just thought, oh, pumpkin, oh my gosh, you know, uh, and I and I tried it as well. I put some in my smoothie, and um, as I say, it doesn't, it's not going to make your smoothie taste pumpkiny, but it's an unusual right uh, way of using pumpkin and using pumpkin seeds to, you know, um, nourish our body with this really beautiful clean source of protein okay so ladies anything else uh, i have to skedaddle in a minute i've got to get a uh, little sunshine um where is she i've got to get sunshine walked and uh, you know oh my gosh what i wouldn't do to take sunshine to walk through full leaves i think when when we get a little bit more full leaves here i'm going to have her crunch this is my those of you who don't know it's my little pomeranian uh, dog called um, sunshine um so anything else let's just finish off this this little blast of a live stream tonight with anything else that you are looking forward to doing or you're going to do that fills you with excitement and 
is connected to wellness in some way. So what I mean by that is make your own pumpkin latte. And we're so, an email is coming out, I think, this week. So again, make sure you're subscribed to my list of different pumpkin videos, pumpkin creamer. They're all DIYs that I've done in the past. Um, pumpkin latte. But make your own. Enjoy a beautiful pumpkin latte, but not one from the coffee shop that is full of sugar for the most part and, and all that other stuff that is just like eating, you know, three bars of candy. So make your own. So think of everything like that that is kind of fallish and exciting. It could be some people love the sort of smell of beautiful kind of full candles or whatever. So if that's where you're going, if that's your thing that you love to scent your home, then make sure, you know, you get candles that are non-toxic and that aren't full of synthetic fragrance that is really going to be deleterious to your health and those around you and your pets. So you see where I'm going. Everything that you can think of, if you're going, you know, buying apples, then make sure that you buy organic apples. Organic apples are um, Apples are important to be organic and eat the skin of the apple, not just the apple itself. Don't peel it. 90% of the uh, nutrients, many of which very specifically can help to prevent cancer, actually, and a, very, a super cancer preventative are in the skin. So don't peel the apple. Eat the apple peel. Um you know, with pumpkin, you can make beautiful, instead of thinking of too many of the sweet things that you can make with pumpkins, you know, the, the pumpkin, um, you know, pies, although you can make a sort of healthy version of a pumpkin pie, but those, we tend to think are very sweet, sort of desserty things. Um, look at how you can look up making a pumpkin loaf, a pumpkin bread that is really, really healthy, that has no sugar in it, you know, and, and has a minimal amount of, of, of fat in it. Um, so just try and every single thing you think of, it's like really what I do in my community is that I don't want to be a party pooper and take away all of the fun, full vibe and the whole thing, but find a way, and you can, um, of, of making, of putting a healthy twist on it so that it's something that heals you and doesn't harm you, right? And that's really what we're all about in this community. Um, okay, yeah, and you can make an apple pie. Um, you know, you can make a healthy apple pie. The healthiest way, um, aside obviously from eating your apples, is stewed apples, which was an old favorite of my mother, or, you know, um, baked apples. So um, some of the ladies in, in my, um, you know, who are doing private coaching with me and my private coaching program, you know, because we don't, you know, there's absolutely no sugar um, when when you, when you come on board with me and you start working with me. But, um, you know, so we get very creative about how to make, you know, lovely desserts without using any sugar uh, whatsoever. So things like baked apples are absolutely delicious. Um, okay, and uh, Maureen, give us the recipe when you found for that pumpkin bread, please share the recipe. All right, ladies, so that is it from me. Uh, any air fryer, uh, uh, any air fryer apple recipe ideas? Oh, that's a good one. If anybody has any air fryer apple, recipe ideas let maureen know or get into the group and let everybody know so i'm going to finish now and i am just going to finish by just encouraging everybody talking of the group to and i'm just going to go in right now to pop in to actually i can't do it because i'm on this software would somebody please one of my lovely regulars maybe uh maureen since you're on um just grab the link for the um facebook group the Healthy Living and Weight Loss for Women Over 40 Facebook group. Maureen, do me a huge favor and just pop that in the chat uh, right now or somebody just pop that in the chat. So those of you who are not watching from the group, if you're just watching from my Facebook page or you're watching from YouTube, just make sure you join. And if the link doesn't come, because I think Maureen might have gone, I'm just going to pop in here. Healthy Living and weight loss i think i'm not even spelling it right for women over 40 for women over 40 so that if you're not a member of that facebook group is 
my Facebook group. And it's a great Facebook group because, and I'll just finish on this, is what I want to encourage you to do is if ever you have questions for, for me, it takes me a long time, obviously, my team a long time to get to questions because we get hundreds of questions every single week. So I apologize that, you know, if we can't get to your questions or your messages, um, you know, as quickly as we would like to. So what I really recommend you do is get into that group and post your questions in the group uh, because many of the women in that group have been in my community and many of you on YouTube but have been following me and very very firmly planted in my community for years so they're very very wise women in that group with tons of knowledge so if you have a quickie question or anything pertaining to you know whatever it is under the umbrella of health and wellness very often you can post it in that group and you're going to get a lot of support if nothing else um, so as I said a lot of great support and inspiration and love in that particular group okay so um, there you go I think I, I popped it in there so have a wonderful week a wonderful week and just please focus on put your attention on what you want to put your attention on so there's no reason why you have to get dragged down by other people by the news by the negativity, by the, all the divisiveness and the fear and everything out there. You don't have to. But what this basically means is that you do have to really sort of manage your time and your devices sometimes a little bit differently. That might mean turning off some notifications. It might mean having less screen time or less social media time. It might mean turning off the TV and as Maureen put in, watching, you know, wonderful, uh, the home edit is Maureen's, um, you know, uh, recommendation and others have put in other recommendations. But it is a discipline I know it's it's a discipline because it's really addictive you know if anybody saw the documentary I think it's called the social media dilemma I don't know if anybody saw that really interesting documentary um, but it is it is it pulls at us all the time you know this stimulation and so we do have to be careful and and so really my sort of call to you this week is to watch how you spend your time where you spend your time who you spend your time with and above everything else don't allow your energy to get drained do not allow the energy vampires that can be the tv it can be certain people it can be social media anything that makes you go oh okay just you don't have to do that let it go and focus on what you want and what makes you feel uplifted because that is probably one of the most important things actually in terms of boosting your immune system. Okay, I'll see you all next week. Thank you so much for joining me, whatever community that you're in and watching, and um, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye, everyone.